Jordan's subjective. Jordan's subjective. Jordan's subjective. Jordan's subjective perspective. That's on my Tinder. <laughs> Legitimately, it's Dare it's graduate. Tinder, aren't we all? Dare, dare graduate. graduate. Yeah. Well, I don't have a bio on my Tinder. Is that's that a stupid? No, that's stupid. You should do. It. I know I mean, Grant has a pretty. Uh, yeah, but he doesn't what? need a bio. I need. I need <laughs> a bio. <laughs> <laughs> all right, that. <laughs> what are you talking about? My, what? No, I'm just saying you have a pretty intricate bio. Yeah, yeah. my cuddle bio buddy. Says, <laughs> looking for a cuddle right. buddy. <laughs> We're not that's starting. That's this the off. other great. Oh, that yeah. should be the starting topic. No, no yeah, it should. Let's get it, let's get it out really? the open. No, definitely. <laughs> Fuck all of you. <laughs> I should definitely be the starting I, topic, dude. Okay, I thought one of you would like be at least sneaky about it somehow, like kind of weave it in a conversation. But that was too fast. You're flattered. <laughs> yeah, come flattered on. Flattered slash violated. Which Grant's been podcast? Grant has been yeah it started it's going <laughs> oh okay Grant has been catfished yes. not not has been catfished he is the not he's the victim he's not the catfish he's the hook he's, he's the hook yeah, in the that's catfish good, yeah. that's what yeah. it is I like that Definitely. it's been yeah. a very interesting start to the fall semester yeah. yeah. Is that is that the, like the technical term? I, no, I have no, no I idea. Just, I just made that up. I like that. Right. Yeah, right. He's the hook. He's cool. The hook. Well, I mean, no, no. TM. Would that really make sense though? Because the catfisher is the one that's the fake person. That's one. It's on Urban up. Dictionary. Well, I think <laughs> I don't know, but I I'm saying if like the catfish <laughs> wouldn't be the that'd be the one biting the hook almost. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So the person biting the hook is these girls. Or is that he the bait? This dude matched with. Yeah. So the bait or the hook. The dumbass is using my name. Yeah, <laughs> so <laughs> he, he is the fisherman, and yeah, the girls yeah, that he matches yeah, with yeah. are the catfish, and then you are the hook slash the bait. Wow. Yeah, yeah. We just we just I'm solved following. catfishing. I didn't all know right? there was so many there was so much vocabulary to the concept regulate. Of catfish. Well, we haven't solved you the actual. You don't problem need a yet. license to. We catfish. have not solved the problem. Yeah, he's still out there just swiping. Do you have girls swiping? Someday like we're looking gonna. for this guy. <laughs> hey man, I'll catfish the catfish. <laughs> Dude, that's the thing. You can't make two Tinder profiles. We, I thought this. I mean, we obviously thought sense. this out. Yeah. <laughs> no, you can't make two Tinder We were profiles. trying to catfish the catfisher. Yeah, no, my friend actually said, like, we could use her name and her account or, like, her pictures from Instagram and stuff to, like, try and find this guy. And uh, we were going to get him over, like, to the house. The night it was discovered, yeah, the plan was to get him, give him yeah. our address, Good. have him over. It was debated whether that was a smart call or not. I don't I know. Mean, okay, I, I, I mean, okay. Obviously, I'd you're rather, not going to assault this dude. Like, <laughs> this, is he uh, this assaulting group of, us, though? Like, <laughs> but I'd rather I don't think so. Us than some random girl. Exactly. That's yeah, true. absolutely. Yeah. But what's his game plan? What is the catfish? He's trying to get nudes, man. That's what it is. I'm t- is he, like, <laughs> he's, this he's guy going for nudes? Is, yeah, because he's obviously not going to meet up with these girls. Right. Yeah. I mean, and if he is, he's poor guy. That's very bold. But, like, you know. You can get nudes from just sending Snapchats facing the other direction. If I don't know, that's maybe that's point. what he thinks. Yeah, or he just likes the attention, if, man. Yeah. There's some weird people yeah, that just yeah, really yeah. No, fucking that's cool. crave attention. Yeah, and maybe that's guy's that's this guy's end game. Yeah, you know, from my point of view, it's fucking hilarious. But I know from your point of view, it's, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's a just little, weird. It's, it's it is pretty weird. You're flattered. Come like, on, man. You're Come on. Anyone would be like, best you're like, like I don't know, for sure. Form. Should we explain? Imitation. As, Imitation. As, Imitation. as if somebody yeah. in here didn't know what was going down, like what we were talking about, okay. should we explain okay. the situation? Yeah, I think you guys got it. You I guys can start got it out. Okay. okay. Uh-huh. I was the one. So we're sitting there watching Transformers, and I get a text. <laughs> it's a hell of a detail. <laughs> <laughs> Very it's crazy. <laughs> Paint the picture. Yeah. yeah. No. <laughs> and I get a text from my friend Maria, and she's like, hey. I think somebody is using your roommate's, like, Instagram pictures and, like, name and shit to catfish girls. I'm like, what the fuck do you mean? She's like, yeah, my roommate matched with him. And she was like, oh, yeah, I think I saw you up at Hazel Horse or whatever. And then he was, like, being weird about that. And then she's like, wait, where do you live? And they know that they're right down the street, like, right down Holland. And they know that we live in this house. And he's like, oh, I live in some Hutchins. dorm or Hutchins. Yeah, he's like, I live in Hutchins. He's like, because she's right an AKO. He's like, yeah, I can hear your AKO chants and shit. And that's when she knew, like, oh, because the fratern- or the sorority house is right next, right to next the to Hutchins, yeah. yeah, yeah, right next so to. Like, oh yeah, he's like, I can. Freddy. So this is a freshman. We've established Probably. that yeah, most no, likely a freshman, most sophomore, likely a freshman living in the dorms. I don't know though, because like, what do you? It, I mean, he could. How just would be they find Hutchins? Grant? Yeah. Is the thing. How many freshmen do you m- not, know, talk to? No, not. I'm. Like, I bet it's somebody <laughs> that's like either knows who you are or like, I don't know. I'm really hope. I don't know which way I would hope it to be because. 
I, feel I don't know. I think it's less likely for just a random person to be like looking through Instagram dudes' like, profiles oh, yeah, and be like, like, "Yeah, this guy's perfect, yeah. perfect, perfect, perfect to catfish nice ladies." But somebody could see Throw you on and a sick be like, "Bio, and then bam, we'll be good." <laughs> yeah, the sick bio. What, yeah, man. what was the bio again? The should bio. we remind that? Yeah, we should definitely look looking the bio. for a cuddle buddy oh. slash friends. It's a great no, image no, 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 no. There, right? was, there was more than that, dude. It was. It was looking for. Hey, uh, one second. Can I, I'm pull up. Do you have a screenshot? Yeah, no. Ever she sent it to me. <laughs> she sent it to me. <laughs> one, shut up. And it's like, no, hey, has anyone ever, ever burped into these? Because it just happened. <laughs> Probably. Uh, Probably. Probably. Nobody yeah. noticed, man. <laughs> Sorry, I had to call it out. I was wondering if it was the first time that's happened. <laughs> well, whoever has to use this mic next, I apologize <laughs> for how it smells. Because <laughs> it smells like Tostino's pizza. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, beer. I feel like oh, these the top of these would catch smell really well. Oh, yeah, it feels like really it. absorbent like material. You think yeah. they're absorbing sound? They're also absorbing smells. And a bit like germs and shit. Probably. I mean, people are spitting on these like every time. Yeah. yeah should I clean them off? I don't. <laughs> I don't. I mean, how do you, <laughs> you clean these? I want to let you guys know. I do not clean these off. Well, I'm I glad throw I them in the washer. Like that. That. <laughs> I don't know. Probably not washproof. I don't know how you. They're really fragile. Yeah. Very fragile material. I bet you could like run water through it. Maybe. I don't know. Well, you got that bio pulled up? Yeah. So this kind of make me, makes me question the guy's motives. Because he says, looking for cuddle buddies and hookups. Oh. Dot, dot, dot. Oh. Or friends. God. Damn. Yeah, which is even Dude, worse Dude, that's for way you. worse, Yeah, man. no, that's, that's way, way worse, worse image. Than yeah, than just straight up like, yeah, looking for hookups. Yeah, I, I think that's that. the real damage that this guy is doing is not that he's like, you like not the infringement of privacy. Like, they're all Instagram photos. Anybody yeah. can go yeah. look at those. Yeah. But... He is like these girls that see him on Tinder and see that bio yeah, and are like, a "Fuck this douche. guy!" Yeah, yeah. No, they I'm see gonna, you at the bar. I'm gonna be yeah. I'm yeah. gonna be out at Vince tonight, and some girl's gonna walk up to me and be like, "Um, I just want to let you know you're a pig." Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you're disgusting. And I'm like, dude, that's not me. Yeah, <laughs> I'll pull up my Tinder. It's not. It's yeah, not. That, that's tough, man. I mean, dude, that's like that's. That's identity. Though. And he's like, it's yeah, not yeah, a joke. Right? Right? Millions of families suffer every year. <laughs> I've heard that joke like six <laughs> times <laughs> since I first heard that story. He brings it up every time. It's very well, right? I love the office. He brings it up every time. Hey, tilt that mic up a little bit, like in your direction, if that makes sense. Fuck yeah. yeah. How many there podcasts you have you been on? Amateur. Amateur. <laughs> Amateur. Which one is this for you? Six? Six Number six. Sixth one. This is the first one. Hey, Joe. Right. This is three for me. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Joe. <laughs> He's coming up. Yeah. Pat's coming How up. How many are you at? Yeah, yeah that's what I'm talking about. I am superior. This is my it's first fine. one. It's fine, Joe. This is your first this is your one? Your first one. Oh, hey, hey. You should pass five. up Joe this semester. <laughs> oh, yeah, Joe. I'm coming. I'm taking it. Hey, Joe. LeBron is better than Jordan. Oh, yeah. The first time I ever met Joe. The first time I ever met Joe, we had that debate. Yeah, dude. I. What do you guys think? LeBron or Jordan? I, I think LeBron. I, I think LeBron, too. I think there's, like, no scenario that – I just don't know. Besides so scoring. Yeah. Like, but even, even then, like, like LeBron, LeBron could score on MJ. Yeah. Like, he could score on MJ. I don't know if MJ could score on LeBron as easily as – LeBron could on MJ. Oh, dude, MJ was – LeBron's a big year. dude, man. He is a – Dude, he's, guy, he's right? four right? inches special. taller, has, like – Whatever, so eight inches pounds. extra wingspan. MJ is what, like six six. MJ was six six. six yeah. And I'm pretty sure Ron six, 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 six nine. Yeah, six eight six nine. Yeah. So, so which matters? It's a big dude with like fifty more pounds than MJ. Though. Yeah, like yeah, six eight sure. six nine. MJ was fifty, like, and, and he moves like, like a way fucking more fucking train. Dude. Yeah, he's and he's faster. just fast as it. faster than MJ probably. Yeah, probably. Yeah, who could jump higher? Probably MJ. Yeah, MJ. But does not make up for the height? The height difference. No, 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 it doesn't. LeBron because when you're driving to the hoop, like, right. jumping only matters so much. Like you gotta have the length. That's LeBron's what, like notorious for pinning people's shit like at the top of the backboard. <laughs> like it's he, he does not fuck with like right out of the hand. You know, like he doesn't. Yeah, like have to go for the high, steal for sure. What's Jordan better at though? Uh, Jordan's Scoring. better. Yeah, just overall score. Jordan's a better overall score, possibly defender. LeBron's a better passer, just overall playmaker on the team. Uh, maybe not a better like overall defender but he can defend more positions mm-hmm. so like jordan could only defend like guards lebron can literally defend a center if he wanted to like oh, they can wow. play yeah. lebron at all five and they had him the do court. that like, yeah yeah and then he can run the points as well and jordan couldn't really run the, run the point too much because he was just a natural scorer mm-hmm. so. who's yeah, a better I think, leader i just think lebron's more lebron than, yeah jordan LeBron, really jordan was an asshole 
Like Jordan notoriously, and Kobe were kind of such an asshole. Yeah, yeah. And I don't know. I mean, that just plays different, different locker rooms and shit. Yeah. Like some players on the Lakers liked when Kobe was like, "What the fuck are you doing? Yeah. Get your head out of your fucking mm-hmm. ass." Shaq hated it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Shaq obviously hated it. <laughs> but like, I don't know. LeBron has a more like, I guess clean. I think is what I would say. Yeah, he kind of like takes players under his wings more. I, I would say. Yeah, it feels like more like a more natural guidance than, later, than like, like a hardships kind of thing there's also been times though where lebron like for example jr smith i don't know if you guys saw this but <laughs> so the 26 15, 17 2017 finals game one um it's a tie game george hill's at the free throw line he made the first three throw to tie it up there's like okay. three seconds can i give some background yeah nobody thought like i didn't give the i gave the warriors yeah. four to zero odds like mm. four to zero for the series like, nobody thought the Cavs. Had the Cavs had no chance whatsoever yeah, and so, so anyway, George Hill misses the second free throw. J.R. Smith of the Cavaliers gets the rebound, and when he gets the rebound, instead of putting it back up to try and take the lead and win the game, J.R. runs away to half court thinking that they already had the lead. And LeBron is, like, on his way back. <laughs> like, LeBron, is, as JR's leaving, like, the three-point line, LeBron's in the center. Like, at first he Freaking waits for the out, pass, dude. but then he's, like, the iconic picture is LeBron being, like, He's like, yeah, he's yeah, going yeah, like, yeah, yeah. like so as JR's just dri- like yeah. dribbling back. And JR's dribbling around. Yeah. And then that's when LeBron was kind of a bad teammate. I mean, well, And they were pissed bit, at Ty Lue he... for not taking the time out. Right. Did you yeah, see that Ty video of what happened too. right Yeah, like the, the after where it cuts mm-hmm. to the thing, and, t- and he's yelling sad. at Ty Lue, too. Yeah, yeah. dude, yeah, that was sad. Yeah, so that was the end whole of bunch LeBron's time with the Cavaliers, for sure. As soon as anybody saw that, they were like, okay, yeah, that's it. See you in LA. Right. He just walked away. Yeah. I mean, no, he, did he, he play nah. with them a year after? Because that was when they still had Kyrie, right? No. That was when they had Kyrie. And, oh, wait, no, that was. Was that when they got to the finals? When they played the Pacers in the first round, they went to seven? Wasn't Kyrie hurt the first year he was on the Celtics? Yeah. Or was that last year? It's two years ago. I don't know. Do well, you want to get off sports topics? Yeah. I feel like <laughs> I'm kind of she was kind of one sided. Yeah. <laughs> no, that's cool. Well, um, eucalyptics. We, wait, did I say that? Eucalyptus? eucalyptus. Eucalyptus. What does that mean? We have it's some trash bags that say eucalyptus on them. It's a leaf. A leaf? Eucalyptus leaves. This is what koalas eat. I think it's my. I'm pretty sure it gets them high. What? Yeah, I'm pretty it's sure some shit like high. that. Yeah. Like I'm pretty sure it's Where like a it's like, a stim- like catnip. <laughs> you know, like cat catnip. Catnip gets cat as high. Well, it makes them more calm and docile. Oh, okay. Yeah. There's so like it's like it's like CBD for cats. Yeah. Like, it doesn't get them, like, zonked or anything, but they're just I, like I mean, chilling. I've seen videos of, like, cats on catnip and then a cat, like, <laughs> rolling around on the floor. <laughs> like, I, I never knew that. I thought that was just, like, Yeah, no, catnip, I'm pretty cats, sure. And it might not be a thing anymore because, you know, animal rights and all that. You can't be drugging your fucking cat, but. When did you, like, wait, what was it on? This it's word? on we, we got some trash bags up in our bathroom. Okay. That's a eucalyptus on them. Y'all are going to okay. be attracting did you koalas. you see this word today? And then no, I saw it, like, a week ago. Okay. Just, I've just been thinking about eucalyptus. it. Uh, what it is eucalyptus? So these trash yeah, yeah, bags yeah, right. are made out of leaves? No, it maybe. probably just smells like eucalyptus. Which like you know, a eucalyptus scent to maybe maybe that's like notorious yeah, for helping out. The, yeah, masking the smell. I think of they have trash. different like yeah, they have lin- lavender smelling trash bags. I'm pretty sure like I changed my trash bag the other day and it smelled like good. I don't know yeah, what it was. Sure. It could have been fucking. That's eucalyptus. actually a good idea. That's a really good idea. Mm-hmm. Wow, I wish I would have come up with it. We could start a trash bag company. And if right only here. we worked in the trash industry. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> like if only. Probably for the ago. best. <laughs> Probably for the best. Yeah. Hey, garbage men get paid a shitload. Really? Oh yeah. Like for real, they get paid a ton. The guys that like clean porta potties get paid like forty five dollars. I mean, an yeah, hour. nobody wants to do that. For yeah, exactly. Job. So they do yeah. it, and they get paid a ridiculous. But wait, amount. like the garbage men, like the people garbage driving the truck, or the people both. It's a union thing. I okay, don't even okay. want to use porta potties. I feel like that would be a hard like job. A salary kind of range sick. here. You're just chilling on the back. Yeah, it'd be all right. You hop off. You like line it up. I mean, you smell like trash all Me. all the time. <laughs> you smell like shit when you get back from the gym, but you shower. Yeah, but I think. You know, like, sweat I don't think that, that like lingers. Over. I don't think the dress like if you wear the same you, uniform every single day and then put that uniform. What year on are you living in, dude? There's washers and dryers, <laughs> but man. you can't get like dirty oh, yeah, trash. I don't know. Like I don't eight think eight hours. Hours. Eight 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 days a week or whatever, like or what, however it is. Yeah, I don't, I don't think, think there's any hours. scenario where you don't smell like trash all the time if you're a trash. Like out in the heat too. Yeah. Oh no. I mean, you smell like trash at work, but like if you go out to like eat, like on a date or something, the girl's not gonna be like. This guy smells like trash. Yeah, I, I disagree. I you want think so? Viewers, 
of trash can companies. <laughs> 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 right in yeah. in this YouTube video. Does your significant other uh, think notice smell like trash? trash? Yeah, Does he smell like shit all smell. the time? <laughs> <laughs> That'd be fucked up. That would literally ruin your life if you just. Well, this is why we're going to like college, guys. <laughs> yeah, so I don't have to be a trash. Hey, man, guy. if I'm making forty-five an hour to ride on the back of a truck that's and the thing, smell like shit every once in a while, while. Mm, yeah, that's a good dropping thing. out tomorrow. Side hustle. <laughs> <laughs> that would be a good side hustle. I wonder if they're hiring. I'm sure they're hiring trash. <laughs> <laughs> what are they not? What are they not hiring? The guy does that for a week. He's like, "Fuck this, dude." That would be. Yeah, I'm sure you would see some shit, dude. Like trash breaking and shit. Yeah. Just, oh, if you're if you have like a new guy driving or whatever any needs sort work of, in the any forklift. sort of job where you're like making rounds in Springfield, you're seeing you're seeing some stuff. Delivery driving, for example. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yes, delivery driving, you definitely see some shit. Well, or when you live on fucking South Street at Aaron Properties. Yeah. You yeah. Some yeah you, shit. Either or. Yeah, what's your What's your wildest delivery story? <laughs> My wildest delivery story. So. Are you I gotta go. Tell this time. <laughs> oh, okay. Well. <laughs> funny. Um. So. I was closing that night. It was like 2.30 in the morning. And I get an order, and I look up the address, and it's for, like, a tire shop or some shit, like a, a repair shop. And I'm like, what the hell? Like, no way they're open at 2.30 a.m. So I'm thinking, I'm like, oh, shit. I was like, it's a fucking Bugan ordering or you're getting right robbed. outside of there. Or somebody's just going to rob me. And that's what I thought when I pull up. I, get, I leave my car out, leave the door open, because I see this guy just sitting on the sidewalk. And I get out of the car with the pizza and shit. And he goes, hey, man, you want to see this knife I have? pulls out this Fuck. fat bowie knife i'm just like dude i was like come on i was like dude like if i'm gonna give you this pizza like you have to put that knife away he's like oh i'm sorry it wasn't me to scare you put man. the knife down he's like i just got it put the pizza down. here and i'm gonna get in my car and leave. there's like zero <laughs> scenarios where somebody like was this, this was in a parking lot right it was, yeah it was sorry. a parking lot of no, like cool. uh, a repair shop yeah okay. okay not a repair shop and I'm like, dude, like, like I'm not like walking up to you if you have a knife. I was just like being like real, like I'm not walking up to you. He's like, oh, he's like, I just got it today. I just wanted to show somebody, and he like sets it down next to him. I'm like, all right. So I'm like, I get the pizza out of the bag. I throw the bag in the car. Usually, like I walk up, I give it to him. And I didn't even like, I knew this guy wasn't gonna tip me, so I, I didn't give a fuck to get his signature. I just gave him the pizza. <laughs> I didn't, even, I didn't care. I'll just, I forge his signature. So I give him the pizza. I'm walking away, and he goes, hey man, he goes, you want this, you want this Domino's beanie I got? I was like, what? He goes, you want this Domino's beanie I got? He's like, it's starting to get pretty cold out, man. It was like November or something. I'm like, nah, man. I'm like, I'm, I'm good. He goes, no, no, really. Like, you should take it. He's like, it's limited edition, dude. He's like, limited he's like, edition. Yeah. <laughs> yeah no. He's like, he's like, he has me sold. <laughs> he's like, oh, I used to work at the Domino's on Sunshine. That's like, when oh, it was shit, limited edition. Yeah. He goes, yeah, they fired me. I was like, oh shit. <laughs> that, yeah, is that oh, how you ended up shit. in the parking lot? Disgruntled right. employee. So he's like, he's, he's like, seeking no. vengeance on you. Yeah, that's moment. what I'm saying. I was like, shit, check out my brought, knife. Yeah, this guy brought me here to kill me because <laughs> yeah. Domino's fucking fired. This <laughs> <laughs> like, come on. And so I'm like, uh, at that point, I was like, all right. I was like, yeah, man, uh, give me the beanie. Sure. He tosses it to me because I wasn't fucking walking up to the guy. I was like, yeah, toss it here. And thankfully, he was cool with that. So I drove off. I turned out and i threw the beanie out the fucking window <laughs> <laughs> and i get back i told my manager about me he's like yeah he's like he called i was like oh shit i was like what do you say he's like yeah you forgot his dr pepper <laughs> i was like yeah i'm not going back. i'm not going back <laughs> <laughs> i told him like, like this guy pulled out a knife like fuck that guy's dr pepper i'm not going back and he's like all right that's fine my drink my diet he's like, dr. Dr. <laughs> my diet dr kill <laughs> uh, that really would have set him off i would have probably died if i gave him that dr pepper Dude, what? If, yeah. yeah. So what yeah, if you bar- what if you like barely like lucked out with like escaping this situation? This guy uh, got yeah, fired like from he Domino's. Was, yeah. He's in this parking lot like, with a big dude, ass knife. He's yeah. calling up. He's calling up Domino's drivers left and right. I speak so more I'm, into the mic. Bro, <laughs> why am I, am I the we one? Am I the one? This podcasts. was gonna happen. God. Just six podcasts. I'm sorry. It's been Amateur, on more pods than bro. anybody. God. Yeah. Amateur. Can't even speak to me. Anyways, but this guy's might be pissed at the entire company. He's just like, I'm going to take the delivery driver down one by one. Show him the knife. So, <laughs> hey, like, tilt it this way so that whenever you, like, tilt your head over it, Kenny, then... Now I think you're just fucking with me. <laughs> I'm not even messing with you. No, no. Right. <laughs> <laughs> now you're making me insecure about my mic. Yeah, I know, man. I keep touching <laughs> no, it. No, no, it's no, cool, okay. guys. You, everyone else That's is cool. Like, just me. <laughs> yeah. You got a fucking grip on it. <laughs> <laughs> How long have you had these mics for? Ah, uh, since, like, January. Okay. They're fresh, baby. So they are not fresh. too much germs like on them. here. Not too many germs. I like it. The but little enough. stand part, I, I dig it. Dude, we need these for the ping pong table. I are mean, these not like these are specifically. Are these connected to the mic? Yeah, um, they're stands, bro. Look, 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 look. It's a stand. Oh, yeah, no, it's like attached yeah. to the mic. 
No, I mean, wait, what's your no. question? Because like the ping pong table is <laughs> like this. Uh huh. It's not. The, this stand is not attached to the microphone. The microphone's just yeah, yeah. You around. can take the mic out like through here. Yeah. No, but I'm like saying I don't want like, I don't want like the whole stand, dude. I want just I want just this like clip part. Because the ping pong table is like this, and we need to get it like that, and like that's like the nets and stuff. They have the clip. Oh, yeah. do you oh, not okay. have the net? No. No. He, why didn't dude i don't even know i wasn't yeah, here for this dude, 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 dude. yeah okay yeah let's get on table. let's get on real time <laughs> <laughs> oh you took the mic out i did I, watch I, out i'm feeling you can, bold you can turn it off really easily right, right. here so. i'll be able to wow yeah, i talk Nobody a lot see it. So okay, cool. has anyone ever done that before jordan no wow jesus man you're just breaking a lot of about that yeah dude look at my standards on the pod mine's silver so, uh, that's actually that's black, that costs like ten dollars extra. You oh, got the nice look one. At you. Oh, you got the shit, nice one Kane. and the nice yeah, headphones. Dude, you got the nice headphones yeah, no, and the nice seat particularly. First guest. That's uh, exactly. just that's just yeah. good manners. Yeah. It's it's, really it's really etiquette. Yeah. It's etiquette. I'm being kind. So you wanna yeah, these Oh do they like you quit? fucked up. No. Nah. <laughs> oh, did it go in the other way? Is that what I'm No, saying? no, you're cool. I'm good. Should I just shove it on in there? Open it up and penetrate it. Penetrate it. There we go. Shove that mic right yeah. on through. There we go. <laughs> Dude, so this Everybody guy. Who, yeah, everybody who just turned it on. That. That. <laughs> That's where you put the ad. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it just pops up above Pat's head. Like, it goes away. <laughs> oh $15 off sunglasses. <laughs> oh what were you saying? There's this dude the other day that was staring at me at Burger King. He was just like staring me down. Have you ever, have you guys ever gone out in public, and then you see somebody who's just like staring at you more than they should be? Usually like a three year old. No, no, this guy. <laughs> it's it's like a grown man. Little baby, just like, like a forty year old, forty year old dude. And it, the way I interpreted it is that I'm the chosen one. <laughs> what? You know, like it, this guy's staring me Did down. He Maybe kind he of knows. Vibe? Maybe. Dude, I mean, is he, it, when he shit like that, like, from the Matrix. Knew. Yeah, this is Morpheus. <laughs> he looked at me like he knew something about me I didn't know about me. And Dude. I was like, maybe I'm the chosen one. Hey, I think you that I'm w- like in some sort of a modern day Truman show and that everything that's been created, uh, including the movie The Truman Show, is just to like <laughs> make sure that I'm Can you give me a rundown of The Truman my... Show? I've never seen oh. that. Oh, is okay. it it's a movie? Jim yeah, it's a Carey. movie with Jim, Jim Carrey, Carrey like man, during back his in the prime. Day of the Truman show. So it's the premise is that Truman is Jim Carrey and he was raised his whole life as part of like a television show where all the people around him are actors. His parents are actors, his dad dies. It's basically a big social experiment that was like a drama. TV exactly. Show. And he okay. figures it out as the whole thing and like yeah. it slowly happens to him. But for real, like all the time it's like motherfuckers look at me in public, I'm like, Who the fuck do they think I am? Why didn't you look at that guy? <laughs> <laughs> I think it's just because I dress weird. <laughs> like, what maybe the fuck you're is up with that guy's one? jean jacket. Hey, maybe we're maybe we're all chosen ones. You're changing the r- the radio like in your car. Yeah, gr- uh, Pat's taking a ride on the intersection yeah, of Grand and National. Exactly. Oh wait, he's listening. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, bro. Yeah, someday the I'll aliens, figure it man. out. I Dude, haven't been out of the country. So you should have just walked right like. up to this guy and been like, "I'm ready. I'm ready. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever my task is." <laughs> <laughs> walked right up to this guy. Oh my gosh. I wonder what his reaction would have been. Maybe he would have been into it because he was staring at you so intently. Yeah, right. Like, All right, let's go. I am the one from BK. I knew, you would, I knew I would be. You and I both knew I would be here at this date at this time. <laughs> Follow the white rabbit. <laughs> <laughs> I just saw that movie last night. I'm quoting it now. Yeah, yeah, there you a, go. It's, I need to calm down. It's a little hasty, but it's fine. <laughs> well, you introduced me to what that concept even meant. What the white rabbit? What yeah, you down the rabbit hole, before and you didn't catch it. Yeah, no, <laughs> yeah. Didn't I've seen it. that movie like two, three times. Yeah, That's no. a top five for me, and I never caught that. Uh, it's a metaphor, tough baby. Up, tough up, tough up. Would you guys take the red pill? Which uh, one's wait? So the red, the red pill was okay. Like, well, yeah, I kind of know about it because you know the concept. yeah the you know the red pill thing about Reddit oh, how yeah, guys use it to manipulate it, women. So. Yeah. <laughs> wait, what? Like there's Rufalin? No, 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 not an actual <laughs> literal. pill. <laughs> 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 that's why right, you said manipulate women. Red pills? We're talking about pills? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> we're talking about rupees right now. What? <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the pod. We're talking about rupees. On this episode. So, like, red pilling is, like, it's, like, a method of thinking, and it originated on, like, 4chan and all that, and then made its way to Reddit. There's a red pill subreddit. And it's, like, a way of thinking that, like, you are the only thing that's important, and your reality is all that's important. And the way that that, like, translate incels, like, really relate to this way of thinking. And so what it's become is, like, a way 
of thinking that's like smarter and a lot of the red pill people use it and the topics that they post about are used to manipulate women and like like they're like my old roommate was like this the one you know that i'm not gonna say out loud yeah, yeah. and uh like it's That's just two of them. <laughs> 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 well, yeah, really yeah so sorry. Yeah, this, yeah, <laughs> yeah, you're watching, it's cool. There's two of them. Yeah, now, so exactly. They don't know. Yeah, they don't know. <laughs> the they'll guy. definitely know if you're about to. Explain. Oh no, he knows. <laughs> <laughs> the, either of them would know, but uh, it's just like you can manipulate somebody into thinking something just because you are smarter than them, and because of the way you're talking and the reasons you're providing for them. And so the way like my old roommate would talk about it is that like. You are better than this person. You can outthink this person, and so you can get this person to do what you want. And that method of thinking obviously leads these dudes who are. This is like manipulation. Like yeah, pure it's, it's, manipulation. It's, it's manipulation. Like recruiting for a cult or something. Yeah, yeah right? it's, so it's yeah. like that. Like yeah. that's exactly how it kind of is. Is like the red pill culture, but it started as like a method of thinking that like, you know, reality isn't what it seems. I guess. Yeah. Which is the concept of the movie. For sure. So is that like reality only is what you see yes so because of that you're smarter than everyone exactly since they're just a concept of your since mind. you are aware of the red pill mentality that makes you better Superior, than everybody yeah. else like that's what okay. it is it's kind of the vibe of conspiracies like i know and nobody else knows yeah everybody else is ignorant to what i know and it can be that's like a form of narcissism yeah. that's a really oh absolutely way of the, thinking the though. way I, I that like that. these like i've seen it for like the red pilling I'm experienced with is like all incels and all like super narcissistic, um, sexist, like people that use it to their advantage. Like the, uh, with the ideologies that they already have, they use this like open ended avenue of thinking to like impress them. Well, not necessarily to impress them, it's just to like manipulate. So the red pill itself is a like un ill defined way of thought like you know yeah. that you are aware of a reality is it almost that nobody like making else is them think they're like out of the loop with something yeah exactly yeah. and so that's and that's the mentality that they have and it's like it's not like hey let me get you in the loop it's like hey how can i manipulate you to make my loop better you know yeah. Like, yeah. there's so. there's a book that goes very very much so on this topic and it's called the rational male mm -hmm. and it's pretty much it's not pickup but kind of it's like the male mindset on how to get women yeah and it's by this guy named <laughs> Rolo Tomasi. <laughs> I've, I've never read it. I've never read it. But yeah. it's by this dude named Rolo Tomasi. And he talks about red pill and blue pill. Like literally yeah. that exact concept. Mm -hmm. But the red pill is how to get girls and the blue pill is like not. Yeah, being girls, a cuck. Basically. Like that's the thing that like all these dudes think that they're especially better than all the other males that mm -hmm. aren't aware of the red pill. Alpha like that's male. the big. Yeah, alpha male. It's all incel shit for real. You know what he says the alpha mentality. He's that synonymously with yeah. the. So Which maybe maybe he stupid. started that and then it moved on to Reddit. <laughs> what was his name? So I, Rolo Tomasi. Yeah, yeah. Right, right. Yeah. Cool yeah, name. Yeah, yeah, cool fucking name. That's why. He, that's why. Pretty cool fucking name. Yeah. Isn't it, I was about to say that. Isn't that like a chocolate with caramel? The Rolos. Is that yeah, Rolo. yeah. 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 I love those. Those are good, dude. I don't know. They kind of get like chewy. I don't know. I like that. You ever had that Rolo McFlurry? No. Did you try the Stroop waffle McFlurry? Bro, yeah, dude, don't even Six talk Flags, about it. I was it. telling you, I was like, dude, Woo! there's this foreign McFlurry, it's, it's fucking good. It was literally, <laughs> the, like, one of the best desserts I've ever had in my so life, good. and it was from so fucking McDonald's. Mm. <laughs> it was, it was amazing. They, they did, don't like, have this it little, anymore. Like, campaign where they, like, had different meals from foreign countries, but they, like, Americanized them. Yeah. Oh, it was, wow. Actually, yeah, it was pretty good. It was pretty cool. I didn't no, try yeah. any of the sandwiches or anything, but I, I, I should have. I wanted the sandwiches. I can't remember. The Stroopoff McFlurry is cool. But no, no, this it's not still there. No, it's not. I it's like I red went pill, yesterday. alpha male way of thinking. It's like it almost plays upon the ego and the way that like you want to be better than other people. It's like a competitive thing, like and a deep down competitive thing. The people that latch on to it are like the exact type that are – like so when I talk about like the red pill and the red pill mentality, I'm talking about the like incels that have made it into that like shittiness that we were talking about. And like that's the exact type of person <laughs> that – I, I don't know. I feel like the idea was manipulated because it related to this set of people, like the incel, 4chan, deep Reddit type of, like... What do you mean dude. by that? Like, the people that think they're woke? Elaborate no. on that. Oh, Reddit. Okay, do you know what incel... So, yeah. incels are, like... Tends to be, like, uglier. It's like the... 
I hate being friends with girls because none of them sleep with me. Or the nice guys, like nice guys don't get the girls. You yeah, know, they yeah, always go yeah. for the bad guys. Why won't good girls sleep with me? All this. So those like, guys. Yeah, and it's and it's, it's like a mentality creepy, that yeah. evolves into like, I'm smarter than these girls, so they won't sleep with me. Or I am red pill and aware of a reality you aren't, and so that makes me better than you. Fuck me. Like that's. <laughs> And wow. so, so to, you're saying it all starts with like these, I think guys who were not successful with women, and then yeah. they moved on to Reddit, and this information just leaves them. I think you can but, always find a community that you relate to on the internet, and for this specific set of people, 4chan, which is completely anonymous and great for the use of being sexist, racist, homophobic, like <laughs> giant douchebags say things about raping women, like. It, it, it's completely anonymous, so these type of dudes feel safe in this environment. It's so bad that we can all, like, everyone can be fueled by whatever they want to be fueled by because of the internet. And they'll like, find, especially you'll when it's, like, find the people you relate like that. to. That's Good why, and bad. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. absolutely. And so those type of guys just happen to be found on these websites. Like, I don't think the websites have much to do with it. If anything, it just gave a platform. Yeah. Like, mm. And so it gave a platform for these guys to, like, take this ideology that existed that didn't have anything to do with their mindset necessarily – and with, I'm talking about red pill ideology, which is just that, like, I can be aware of something that the rest of reality isn't, mm-hmm. which isn't necessarily, like, that harmful of a concept. Yeah. But they but if twist you're being it. a jackass about it. Exactly. <laughs> the jackasses will take that ideology and use it to do jackass things. So yeah. what do these guys, like, what is this specific red pill guy? I think of another specific red pill guy. That they're, like in the same like, like it's, it's like it a cult yeah okay and okay. so they find each other and they're like oh my god i've had the same struggles with you this girl wouldn't talk to me because i was talking about astrophysics and she thought i was being annoying and this guy was like oh my god this girl wouldn't talk to me because i was trying to talk to her about how your reality's fake and everything fuck women i'm so glad i found someone else exactly. so much more superior than women than exactly. we are that's great that we it's, have this in common it's <laughs> destructive and like that's it, it is legitimately is what this my like a form of masculinity that thinks they're above women yeah like, which is, ha- has always existed but like i think now especially like i don't know Incels are typically, like, uglier guys. I, and that's a generalization, but I don't feel bad generalizing negatively. Or let, let's just say, like, guys that are unsuccessful with women. Yeah. And so it's an easy mentality to fall into is that, like, you hate the thing that you can't have. Yeah. Like, you know. And so yeah. if that's women and attention from women or, like, being looked down upon by males. Like, the big thing, like, the whole Chad thing. Like, fuck Chad. <laughs> yeah, like, that's an incel fucking thing. Yeah. It's like, fuck these guys. These guys take it all the girls. They won't go with the smart guys like me. Yeah. Like, that's, that's the incel mentality is, like, they look down on these yeah. dudes as and much as they... And they develop this way of thinking that they're above women and those chads. Yeah, and they find the community <laughs> that, that shares their values, and so Chad, it just builds Chad. and builds and builds and builds and builds. Like-minded people. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, it's pretty, like, it's a destructive way of thinking. And uh, actually, never mind, I'm not going to tell that story. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I have a person in my Real life who going. comes to mind 100%. Yeah. So, yeah, I it, get exactly it, It's a saying. mentality I think a lot of guys have is just, you know, like... Though. You know who. Oh, damn it. Now I'm going to be sitting here. Yeah. yeah, you know exactly. Uh, older roommate of mine. That's all I have to say. Older friend of yours, you said? No, no older uh, roommate. I first think year. I, oh, definitely oh, Trud. Dragon, this is slander. <laughs> He's the one We're name dropping. <laughs> We're name dropping. <laughs> ah. Fuck Trud. For those who don't know Trud, Trud is Chad. Yeah. Yeah. Dude, the most Chad. Wow. The most Chad. He's always Chad. Yeah, yeah, dude. <laughs> got him. Oh, uh, got him. But not Trud. Not Trud. Yeah, really. Uh, well, you were not. <laughs> I, I would name drop. I don't care. <laughs> Do it. Pat. That's oh, Pat Krause. Uh, okay. Yeah. Oh, I said it. Yeah, I don't okay. care. <laughs> yeah, My face isn't shown right now. I don't care. You ain't getting out. docked. Yeah, so I don't care. <laughs> yeah. Hell yeah. No, it's, it's a really interesting mindset, though. It's like just misogyny, yeah, well, but like misogyny in the way that they're inferior, yeah. like an inferior gender, and that's just like that's a dumb way. I to think, think it's a mentality that's just like evolved. Like it's a modern day view of looking at like men thinking they're better than women for the sole sake of them being men. That's a really weird form of narcissism, though, because you yeah. think narcissism, you think you are just the hottest shit in and mm-hmm. out. Every single aspect of you is yep. just ten out of ten. But then there's like this also this different form of narcissism where it's like all intellectual and like this yeah. higher sense of realization, which is mm-hmm. 
weird. Which, like, you can possess without thinking you're better than people. Like, even if yeah. you take the red pill, like, it, okay, if you're in the Matrix and you take the red pill, it doesn't, like, mean you have to look down upon all of these people that aren't aware of what they're in. They're just unaware. Uh, yeah, exactly. That's all they are. Is how are you going to hate on ignorance? Yeah. yeah. How are you going to hate on exactly, ignorance? Exactly, man. I, so, you that's, know. Dude, that's what I've learned on this podcast more than anything. More than anything is that... There are things I know that you guys don't know, but there's a ton of shit that you guys know that I would wouldn't even be able to conceptualize yeah. at all. Absolutely. That no let's not even to say that I wouldn't be able to conceptualize it, it's that I haven't had the life experiences that have exposed me to yeah, that information. Sure. Yeah. Like you guys were talking about sports earlier and I didn't really know what you were talking about too much, no, I, but yeah, I, I was know. listening. Yeah. There's like, just there everybody knows something you don't. Yeah, dude. You can always so, learn from people. So for always. you to be narcissistic and like all like higher and pompous because you know something somebody else doesn't know, stupid way of thinking. That's stupid because they yeah. definitely know something that you don't know. Everybody that you run into is going to know something that you do not know. Absolutely. A hundred percent. So that's why I think it's stupid to just kind of like write off people right away unless they're like complete douchebags like that. Yeah. yeah. There's personality traits I typically stay right, away from, right. but I don't for think sure. that nec- like, I don't know. It there takes a lot. Yeah, there are dummies out there. Yeah, there's people that you know sometimes should be looked. Like down if he upon. looked at us talking sports, it was like, oh fuck these guys. Yeah, exactly. It's like these like fucking the fuck? douchebags. Yeah. Like that. Yeah. That's stupid. But yeah. if it's like, wow, I watched that girl, that guy grab that girl's ass. That's pretty shitty. I don't like that guy. <laughs> 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 yeah. Fucking Mark, man. Mark. Mark. Should is we tell the story that of Mark? The dude? That's the dude. That's we the all dude. met him. We, we all met him. Right? Yeah, we did you watch the Workaholics episode? No, dude. Oh I God. Showed it's that. literally oh uh. Stan. This guy in Workaholics, his name is Stan Halen, and he is a – Mark is a reincarnation of him. Mark is Stan Halen 2.0. Mark is – this guy's in a TV show, and you're watching the show, and you're like, wow, this guy is the fucking worst. Is it Chris D'Elia? Uh, no, no, no. You saw that episode, though. That was a different. Okay, thing. I was thinking of a different episode. I, I don't I know I, the actor. Uh, I feel uh, like I recognize the actor, but, I like, did. he's not popular, and I wouldn't know his name. He just kind of pops up throughout. Well, the, sh- the actor, shit. in the, his role in that movie, his or in that His role in that show is literally, like, he's a guy. year old dude that, yeah, like. that used to just used to be, like, this big frat guy and just has not let go of it. He's like <laughs> and he's like 40, and that is exactly Dude, what that's Mark exactly was. what yeah, that guy was. Yeah. When, he, when this guy was talking to us, like us three, me and Grant May, I contact, we're like, dude, holy work. <laughs> I like, saw it's that literally happen, him. like, while he was begging to hit my jewel. I mean, like, <laughs> he reached in the past. Dude, mouth. I thought I was going to have to fucking fight this Oh, yeah, no, me and Grant, Grant I really like, yeah, thought I was going to have to fight him. Yeah. bro. Yeah. yeah. You I don't, like, okay, yeah, if another dude has, like, a jeweler and enjoy in his mouth, and you're another guy that's probably 20 years older, you don't just reach... Yeah. You guys know me. You know how fucking liberal I am with giving this out. And <laughs> yeah, I, that's half the reason Very I cool. fucking Very have cool it. about it. Well, well, yeah, which I like, and I like doing that. But I'm not going to let some random 41-year-old hit my fucking jewel. Especially, especially a not man. A, yeah, especially <laughs> if you fucking reach for it while it's still in my goddamn mouth. Yeah. Like, I wasn't going to give it to he him in the first blitzed. place. I mean, he was just dumb. Yeah, he, yeah, and he was... He was so I met I met ass. Mark after you guys. Yeah, I did. As soon as I saw you talking to him, I was, I was like, like oh, oh, this, this is right to back. George's I thought he left. We watched. Oh, him we turned leave. our backs right away. What are away, some of so Mark's yeah, one-liners from that night? Just so people get a made a five million dollar sale today. <laughs> <laughs> hey, shock girl, you remember when I gave you that hundred dollars earlier? Yeah. She <laughs> says no, that did not happen. And then he's like, no, I'm pretty sure I did that. Or just the the casual. Let's fucking go! <laughs> yeah. Are you fucking ready, boys? Are you fucking ready? The dude was that like, it was literally five four, like yeah. 110 pounds, and five pounds of that old. was coke. Oh He's like, I'm 41. <laughs> I travel across the country. I make fucking sales. I make millions. Let's fucking go. Yeah. Who has cocaine? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I got a girlfriend on Tuesdays and Thursdays, all the days. Fair game. Yeah. Fair game. I'm always Funny happy. thing, man. That was a Thursday. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it was. It was. He's not being consistent with his girlfriend he was calendar. Talking he's about. Not. He's missing some days. I feel like that guy go pretty consistently like goes to college bars too. Oh, like, he, he seemed, doesn't like. He seemed go comfortable go being there oh, all yeah. by himself. Yeah, yeah, he's like, right. like, Unfortunately, like, everyone was very like uncomfortable. I go to yeah. these towns. I find the nearest college. I fuck these college girls, and then I leave. We're just like, all right, man. <laughs> Pat, Pat, would you like to hear my experience with Mark? Yes, oh, I would. Like okay, to so you guys, the three of you had talked to him before I met Mark. Yes, yes. yes. Mark walked up to me and just starts talking to me, and 
Maybe, or maybe I was giving out her random high fives. Who knows? No, you Who didn't knows? even ask him a question. He yeah. would just come up and. Oh start yeah, he yeah. started talking yeah. to us yeah. randomly. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah. yeah so Probably. either way, I start talking to this guy, and I want to I want to let you know the ending of this story before I even tell All you right, like cool. what happens in Ooh, the moment. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Well, he uh, <laughs> but that's the ending. Ending. But no, this this dude. Uh, I ended up going home with this guy. <laughs> <laughs> Swear to God. Bro. Swear to God. When he told that was me the that, worst I way knew, to say that. Bro, I knew when I left that you were still with him. When he told I me that the him. next morning, I fucking lost it. <laughs> <laughs> I, was like, I, no, I ended up going back with this shows it, me He has his number, man. That's the girl that he was with grabbed my dick. And like, like, <laughs> like elephant through the yeah, elephant Brett walk. Say? What did Brad say? Elephant walk, yeah. Elephant walk. <laughs> <laughs> she like <laughs> elephant yeah, walked me through the club, yeah. like to, to bring out the door. She's, she's, she's the one that persuaded me to like leave. Was she? But um, cute? well, her was friend she, was. I okay. was. I was with her friend, and he was with her. And so it was four. So of were us. these college girls, or were they? These were college his girls. These were college. Oh, girls. he had no friends. He was there on a fucking that, solo. That's what I thought, man. Solo mission. But he left with two girls. Right, apparently. Yeah, he yeah. left with two and girls. George. And George. <laughs> 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 so, all right. So that's yeah, that's the end know, result. That's the end result. That's where we end up. Is back at this girl's place with me, him, and these two girls. And before that, he tells me he's like, "Man, I'm just trying to do some blow tonight. I'm trying to do some blow. I'm trying to get." Super he said that like six up. times oh, while yeah. I talked to him. And he's like, "Dude, I got. I make a hundred million, or I make a million dollars a year at least." And <laughs> I can, I <laughs> At just, least <laughs> I'm just trying to I'm just trying to Buy all I'm trying to buy A ton of cocaine tonight And tomorrow I'm just trying to get Super lit on coke as well And I'm only in Springfield For one night of the year Because I got business down here Because I make a million dollars a year <laughs> <laughs> And Jesus Oh where was I going with this Yeah Yeah So he I lost my train of thought. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, He's like, dude, I'll blow it all on Coke. I'll blow some money on Coke. Let's fucking go. Let's fucking go. I was like, okay, man, absolutely. And I was like, what do you do for work? <laughs> I'm, I'm asking yeah, about sure, his work. Bro. And he tells me, as Grant mentioned earlier, I get a girlfriend on Tuesdays and Thursdays. I fuck my girlfriend on Tuesday and Thursday. And then the rest of the nights of the week, I fuck other girls. And I was like, interesting. Uh, <laughs> does your girlfriend know about this? And she, he goes, no, she doesn't know about this, but I own thirty percent of her business. She does, <laughs> she does, she does pole dancing, and she gets she just got sponsored by Goldman Sachs. Goldman Sachs. What? Like I a pole what? dancer. Yeah, right, right. Yeah, yeah. Goldman like Sachs. Goldman Sachs pole. Just this giant firm is just like, yeah, let's go sponsor this pole dance. <laughs> like, like, yeah, like a great customers. Idea. Yeah. Buy a solid gold pole. He's like, <laughs> my girlfriend's about to be making a hundred million dollars a year, and I own thirty percent of the business. I fuck other girls on the weekend. That's what it's all about, brother. <laughs> and I was like, wait, you're cheating on talk. her. You're cheating on your girlfriend. And he's like, yeah, but I own thirty percent of her business. <laughs> I was like, what? All right, fair <laughs> enough. Tell him about the thing where he said if he died tomorrow. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. And he tells me, he's like, dude, if I die tomorrow doing a ton of cocaine he's because I bought it from Springfield, it. Missouri, and it was laced with fentanyl, then fuck it. I'm ready for anything. <laughs> I was like, Ride what, it are out, you, baby. Yeah, what, wow. are, what are you saying? What are you saying? What is coming out of your mouth? That's hilarious. Dude. But, yeah, he um, – I ended up going. I, I really, I the girl was cute, so I went back because of that. But that was, hey, you, yeah. you know, you take sacrifices. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> sacrifice was the mark. And she's like, "Do you know him?" And I was like, "No, I don't know him Fuck. at all." I met Thank him God. tonight. Yeah. Yeah. And Fuck she's like, no. "Okay, good." <laughs> That's what like when the shot girl came, came up. Know him. Yeah, her. She yeah. was a good girl. She was a good girl. Like she, this girl was like, uh, she no, was no. fine. She. I met her friend. Oh, her friend was mark. a slut. Yeah. Yeah, her friend yeah, definitely her friend got to know Mark. Yeah, her friend got to know Mark. Yeah. Yikes. The after morning. Time. I hope, oh my God. dude. Yeah. I hope, like, you know. Yeah. Then the following any, morning. Any college girl that fucks that guy should rob him. Like, I told yeah, you, right. I was That's like, we should rob this guy. Where's the money, man? Like, dude, should we were talking all day. I was trying to like <laughs> get his bag of coke from him. <laughs> like, flip that shit at Boogie. I'd <laughs> 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 so like, sell it right back to him. <laughs> you just find some guy in a tight Mo State polo by the bathroom. Hey, man. Exactly. You like cocaine? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bro. <laughs> Fuck you mean. There's a bathroom right here. <laughs> Don't let Mark hear about that. <laughs> yeah, the dude texted me the next morning. I was like, hey, man, how was your night in Springfield? And he's like, I was like, oh, no, no. I told him, I'm like, hey, man, uh, good to meet you. Hope you have a really nice night in Springfield. And he's like, yeah, same to you, man. Happy, um, 
have a great Labor Day weekend. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what? Have a great Labor Day holiday. Yeah, Labor Day holiday. Like, He's back to being a God-fearing, good yeah. old American <laughs> <laughs> in the morning. And, <laughs> and then I texted him. I was like, oh, yeah, absolutely, man. Same to you. And did you end up fucking that girl last night? And he responds <laughs> with a gif. Of the fucking, which by the way, it's, it's GIF, it's not GIF. I used yeah. to call yeah, it no, GIF. No, it's GIF. It's GIF. Okay, it's anyway. Graphics so. interface format. That's what it is. GIF. Oh, nice. Okay. Yeah. So, oh. so uh, he replies and he says, with a GIF of the Kool Aid man busting through a wall. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This <laughs> guy. <laughs> <laughs> the ounce of respect oh I have God. for this guy was in that gift. <laughs> like, I literally, like, I was talking to Jordan the next morning. I'm like, dude, like, that was probably the worst human being I've ever encountered yeah, in my entire dude, life. dude, for like, real. Like, that guy fucking sucked. Yeah. Whatever that guy I was meet, the worst. I knew dude. immediately that I was like, oh, cool. Oh, I don't yeah. like you. When I meet <laughs> people that crazy at the bars, I sit and listen to them. I know you I, do, I love I know, listening I, I know. to people that okay, crazy. Okay, that crazy I could do. The guy... Me and this guy were wearing the same shirt at Boogie. Oh yeah, Jesus, yeah. that was. And I was like, shit. I was like, hey, I was like, I was like, nice shirt, dude. And he's like, fuck yeah, bro. He like, he like grabs the back of my neck. He's dude, like, dude, he was like, he's like, I know guys. From your face. Yeah, literally, like, so weirdly close to me. I'm just like, dude, and I'm like backed up against the bar. Like I'm leaning back on the bar, so I like can't move away from this guy. And he's just like right up in my shit. He's like, he's like, dude, I know anybody that wears this shirt. It's the fucking man. And I'm like, I'm like oh, yeah, dude. He's like, he's like, fucking send it tonight. And I was like, oh, yeah, Nelk Boys. Fucking send yeah, Nelk Boys. I was like, Nelk Boys. He's like, dude. He's like, I know the Nelk Boys. I know Steve. We party all the fucking time. And I'm just like, yeah, okay, dude. Like, literally, these famous ass YouTubers. He's like, I can hit him up right now. I'm like, I was like, all right, yeah, sure, dude. Sure, man. Uh, what is that? What does that need to flex? I don't like, have that's that. That's what I'm saying. To random me. fucking people, too. Like, dude. what is that, that male. Need to flex. I, I, There's some guys that just, just want to really flex, want to man. It. It's so dude, strange it's like, to me, dude. I don't know, man. Like when we when you're out and stuff, and you're like drinking, and you're like meeting new people, talking to new people. Like that's definitely like an angle a lot of people have. I feel like I don't we're, get it. We're in life, like what? Like I don't know. To it's, the it's point where it's just blatant bullshit, though. Like that guy, I was just like, yeah, dude. Okay, yeah, you party with the fucking elf boy. Like, no, the fuck he doesn't. <laughs> he's full of shit. Yeah, he's full of shit. He does not party like with outlandish claims yeah. like that. Why are you uh, lying? Why? Yeah, what, what's the point to lie? Tell me something, like, actually fucking cool about you. Yeah. Like, if you're gonna flex, like, I, I'm not gonna go up to some random fucking dude in the bar that's wearing just the same shirt as there. me and just throw out some cool shit about me. But if I am gonna do that, why the fuck would I make something up like that that I obviously know is not true? Yeah. It's just weird that you run into some fucking interesting ass people. Maybe we're expecting too much of Boogie. <laughs> yeah, I think I think we're not gonna find the most intellectual conversations yeah. at that bar. Yeah. <laughs> just a bunch of drunk idiots. Yeah. <laughs> what time is it right now? Ten. Uh, ten oh seven. You guys want to get wrap this up? Let's ask one more existential question and then yeah. let's wrap it up. What He's do you think? Yeah, under the existential category. Uh, yeah, it's gotta be existential. Mean? Damn, that flew by. What does it mean? It did fly by. We Why didn't get we started here? until like 9.30, I don't think. Really? Really? Yeah, it felt late. Like, I got over here at like 9. Maybe. Right? I don't Maybe fucking know. 9.20, 9.30. Well, whatever. Yeah. This Existen- is not interesting ex- content. Ex- ex- <laughs> oh, <no>. Existential <laughs> question. No, I love how you guys are in, like... The red pill You guys are conscious cool. of that. Yeah, right? That was a good one. Sometimes people will talk about shit, and it's so relevant to, like, this inner circle. Yeah. You know, like, the inner circle that's happening here at this conversation. I'm like, nobody cares. Yeah. And, yeah. like, how do you how do you present that? You know, like, hey, nobody gives a shit about what we're talking right, about. Right, but I feel like, like, Mark, that's a funny Oh, that's good. Oh, that's great. Yeah, that's, like, yeah, yeah, that's, that's a good. funny story. But, no, no, you guys are very conscious of, like, hey, nobody gives a shit. Yeah. Nobody gives a shit. Uh, and that's Grant, a good, let's get a little. Grant uh, trying to say we should start off with talking about our fall semester. Yeah, what the fuck? <laughs> it was going to transition. Into, yeah, I worked into in internship. Burdens, it was great. Is that Brinkman? Have you ever heard of him? I was on some job sites, bro. Yeah, man. One existential I'm question. Yeah, existential it's, question. I mean, it's weird that we're here. That we're here, right? All right, no, yeah. And we're like, you know what? I, we I get to have this experience of. Being a human, like the most intellectual thing on this planet at this point in time. Let's get into it, man. <laughs> There's no other animal that is as smart that as we, we are on this planet. We are superior. Dude. Yeah, like it's crazy. Like not only do we get to have this experience as life, excuse me, life on this planet, and we wouldn't be able to conceptualize it whether we were hum- like if we weren't humans, but 
the fact that we are humans and we can on this it, yeah. planet able to conceptualize our existence. We have self awareness. That's crazy. Yeah. Consciousness, bro. What the hell? Yeah. What's I think about like what, what's up with that? Dude, I think <laughs> it's crazy that you can see shit without seeing shit. Like in your head, if you think about like just some like some flashback or memory or some shit, like you can fucking see it. Mm -hmm. I think that's crazy. Like, yeah, how are the, you seeing something without, general. like, mm -hmm. literally, like, the I'm looking at Pat, but I'm, like, I can see something else in my mind right yeah. now. Yeah. I that's think, weird. like, dude, that's I really think about, I, I think I've talked about this on the podcast before, but, like, personally, I don't, mm, I, I've definitely talked about this before, because I have deja vu giving this um, warning to people is that I don't believe in God. <laughs> <laughs> and I And I don't think, Sinner. like, yeah, I don't think that, like. I don't think there has been any outside influence in the natural way of things. Like, I think that yeah. everything that's happened has happened for, like, scientific, measurable reasons or besides that, just coincidence. Like, th there's the only two options is either reason or coincidence for things okay. happening, right? Yeah. And so from, like, it's, it's kind of hard to think that way because I think that about the odds that it took for me to be right here. Think about the yeah. odds that it took for me to have a Th class with you or to me to work with you to get a job at the rec so that we could be sitting here. Think about the odds of my parents meeting when they met. Think about the odds of the human discovery of America to be colonized so that our, like, so re our much society chance. Is, Earth exactly. coming yeah. together in form. So I think like, it's equally yeah, as right? likely that all of that leads to me being here talking about this right now as it is that something exists that I have no idea what it means, what it is that brought me here today. I yeah. think it, I think the two options are equally as likely because they're both impossible odds. I, yeah. Yeah. I, I don't think anybody knows shit. I agree. Nobody knows shit. I mean, I it's, if you have faith in something, you really believe in something, then cool. That's yeah. where, but yeah, you don't know shit. You don't exactly. know. Exactly. Nobody you don't know. knows Nobody. shit. Yeah. Like there's philosophers. Like I, I took philosophy last year, dropped it after like two weeks. But he's guy, he's like, yeah, he's, there's been thinkers that have thought for hundreds and hundreds of years. I'm like, why? You're never going to know. Like, it's you fun. Are, there it's is, fun to explore. It's fun to explore, yeah. but to, like, dedicate your life to that, you're never going to know, like, how all of this really happened or how we got to this exact moment. You are never going to know that. Yeah. That, like, I mean, we talk about, like, history. Our history is the last 10,000 years. Humans have been around for 400,000, and before that, like, like, there's that interesting stat that, like, we are closer to the end of the dinosaurs than the beginning of the dinosaurs and the end of the dinosaurs were. Like, that was, like, tens of millions of years like between the, the first dinosaurs. So, the like, dinosaurs were around for millions of years. Yeah. And died, so, and then humans came along somehow. So, the then. time, like, the time from when humans first became a species to dinosaurs being extinct say that's 10 million years okay the time from dinosaurs first existing to dinosaurs being extinct is like hundreds of millions okay so like the it, it's just weird to think about that we are closer to the dinosaurs like time wise than the first dinosaur and the last war like yeah. I, it's just an impossible measure of time and it makes me think that like humans aren't really that significant you know like dinosaurs, we're, we're, we're better. Blimp, we're dude. all going to be extinct blimp. long before the dinosaurs. Like dinosaurs like in had a shorter a, time span. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. And I mean that has to do with all but the good things we got. Dude, I could see some crazy shit happening. Now, maybe not necessarily extinction, but just some like wild shit yeah, that like drastically that. changes humanity. I mean, it's happening right now. Humanity. That's climate change, man. That's like we are. Things are happening, dude. These, like with the movie twenty twelve. Fifty years out yeah, is going to be post apocalypse. Uh, the day after like, tomorrow. For real. Yeah. yeah. I, we it's are happening. living in like the end of days I think like our lifetimes will be the lifetimes that no longer know the society what we grew up in I really think that with yeah. climate change because the world is changing e exponentially for the worse and it's been oh, yeah. the best time to stop was 50 years ago the second best time to stop is tomorrow but instead of stopping we're just gonna grow it by 15% every day it's never I don't think it'll ever stop man yeah, I know, and but it, right. the only time that I, mean, I don't know, the I don't know that it's anything stop. about climate change or anything. I haven't done like enough research to have like a stance on it or anything. But I mean, if like that, if it is actually happening, I really don't think that humans will be able to like all f seven billion humans will be able to come together and be like, all right, we need to change this because everybody has shit going on in their day. 
that matters to them and only them, and they will definitely just push that aside. I agree. Oh, it's, it's just going to happen. Yeah. yeah, it's just going to happen. I agree. I, I don't like think at this point, like, it's just, oh, shit. I think it's yeah. going to happen whether we're aware <laughs> the of it or not. And I think, I think that's happening, like, I, that exact scenario, I think, is happening to us, like, right now. I think that's what's happening, like, literally right now, the time we're living in, is that, like, period of, well, we're fucked. Yeah. Like, there's nothing we can do now. I mean. But who's fucked? Who's most fucked? Maybe us, not us and our children. Maybe not us, but I really think like in the next hundred years is the, like it, this, we're at like t minus zero seconds. I mean, I don't, I haven't done like any research on this. I'm not an expert by any means, but like there's been drastic changes even in the last ten years, yeah. and soon enough, like some parts of the planet are going to be uninhabitably hot, and that's going to push refugees to like all parts of the world that aren't to the suitable. And shit? Well, farther from the equator, mm-hmm. but. Uh, How are they going to be in and have really hot farther from the equator? Like uh, I'm saying, I'm saying the people are moving. I'm, I'm saying people are moving Earth, away people from are moving, the equator. People are oh, no, 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 that's what I'm saying. Like, yeah, it'll be in yeah, and yeah. hot mis- like along the equator. In the equator, yeah. yeah and yeah. so like where it's already insanely hot, but that also like cities like New York, San Francisco, L.A., any coastal city is going to be gone and there's all that housing there's the resources the abilities there like we won't have places to put the seven billion people that are trying to live like it'd be crazy lots of people it's going it is happening like it is happening before our eyes i mean i'm sure that we could find places for those people yeah how many people are in fucking wyoming ideally nobody (laughs) literally (laughs) nobody honestly i have to piss so bad me too dude dude. same i have to piss so bad do we want to wrap it up because i also have to piss Okay, I was going to pee in this drain, but that's cool, too. No, okay, I'm <laughs> down for peeing in the drain and keep going. I don't care. I mean, I think it's a good time to wrap it up. Yeah, okay, that's cool. Yeah. Talk about our inevitable demise. Yeah. Ten fifteen. See ya. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. we ended on a good yeah. note. Yeah, it's fine. We're all dying. <laughs> <laughs> like and subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> don't forget to comment, like and subscribe, and uh, turn on notifications. Yeah. <laughs> Well, there we go. Intrepid George. You've heard it here first. We're all dying. Welcome to the pod, Kenny. Eucalyptus. Thanks, man. Welcome to your sixth pod, even though you couldn't work a fucking mic. <laughs> <laughs> I struggle with the mic, all right? You're just really good with big black things next to your mouth. Yeah. <laughs> there it is. Getting and one last singer. That's where <laughs> See ya. That's where and on that note, we're done. <laughs>